guys. We got an update. We just uh, went to the second monitoring appointment. So it's the day it's nine. Day nine monitoring. monitoring appointment for stims. First time I'm hearing anything about it. She didn't want to break the bad news to me <laughs> in there. What do you want to talk about? So okay, here are some some stuff that they just spewed out. Oh, actually, let me start with the blood test. So it's like seven a.m. ish or it was 7 a.m. ish is this you uh the first name's right the last name and birthday are wrong oh <laughs> sometimes i had to find my name and then she made me bear by it three times i'm like i hope i'm awake enough <laughs> to identify this is the correct example but yeah i saw my name so we're good for the blood test she had to go like closer to my elbow because she couldn't find the regular vein and i told her i'm a hard draw um, oh yeah, we're at the, at the different location, so I don't know any of the people who work here. Um, then we went in and another lady did my transvaginal ultrasound. Some numbers and verbiage they spewed out was uh, try for like when uh, describing my uh, uterus lining. So that I think that's a three layer thing, so that's actually a good thing. Um, Another thing they said was nine, so I think it's nine millimeter thickness, maybe. I think that's good. I can't recall if that's what they want or they want it thicker. I know they want it thick for it, for transfer, for but transfer. we're still far, far away from that. Um, at the end total, the lady counted 56, like, uh, big oh, follicles. They, she said that they wanted 10 millimeters or up, so the ones that she were count, was counting was from... 10 millimeters and then there's one outlier which was 17 um, uh, on my right ovary she said uh, 8 less than on the left ovary she said 9 less than so I'm assuming there was actually more than 59 follicles and then you take those out of account how much is that uh, she's saying there's so, so it's like 50 she said she counted 56 so 56 plus 8 plus 9 so yeah 56 plus 17 so that's 73. Wow. Okay, well, that's how many follicles she saw. And then um, she asked me how many, do I have enough meds for how many more days? Or like, she, yeah. And I said I had at least... How many more days, lady? A few more. So she said that ideally they want your follicle sizes to be from like 16, 17 range. And I only have one in that range. Everything else is like 10, 11, 12, oh, 13, man. 14. So... At the end of today, we'll get a call from a nurse with an update. She's thinking that gonna up the we're going to have another monitoring appointment on Tuesday. She said maybe Monday, but most likely Tuesday um, because they want it that big. However, they also said it's up to the doctor because even though generally they want the follicle size to be 16, 17 range, I have a lot of them, so they might not make me wait that long. So we'll see today if we even have to come back for a monitoring appointment uh but yeah oh ha one thing at the end that freaked me out so after she was like after she um counted and went over the follicles with me she's like hold on let me just take a picture there's some free floating fluid in here what does that mean that's one of the things for ohss like there's just random fluid around your ovaries. It's starting to build up. Yeah. So she, then after she just asked me, "Have you been gaining weight like exponentially, like out of nowhere? Um, have you mo been monitoring your like your waist size? You don't feel nauseous or anything?" I was like, "No, no, no. Everything's fine and normal. The only thing I have is a bit of soreness and tightness." And she's like, "Oh yeah, that's normal because of how many follicles you have." But she was talking to me and saying like. I'm asking these questions because we're trying to prevent OHSS because you have a lot of follicles. But yeah, it, it, it sounds like it was fine and good. That's good. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep monitoring it and then I think we're going to stick to that high protein. So that will hopefully help mm -hmm. with the high protein diet as well as the high salt diet and plenty of fluids. Um, yeah, and then what else? Nothing, just another appointment. Man. Okay, yeah. how I'm feeling? I'm feeling like a fish. Like, I feel really bloated. Like a balloon, you know, like those squishy things that kids play with and then the eyes pop out. That's like so close to breaking, but not. That's what I feel like. Um, 
I'm happy there's a lot of follicles. Hopefully there's at least half that amount or more of those eggs because it'll exponentially go down per like maturity, fertilization, uh, grading, and then whatever testing yeah, normal. Testing, yeah. Um, yeah, have, have I been feeling emotional or acting emotional or hormonal? No, I don't think so. But I think um, with the OHSS, we gotta really monitor that, so. I think uh, we gotta stick to that diet. Yeah. Start drinking those fluids. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> the only thing. So I have most women are like, oh yeah, you can just get some bruising. You look be pretty beat up for a day or whatever. Here's mine. I just have one. It's pretty dark. That was the site of the first setratide. So if it wasn't for the setratide, I would not have any bruises at all. Alright, see okay. you guys later. Bye-bye.